Damn, what a set that was, though. Yeah. Oh no, my Achievos! Just to let you guys know, it was V for Charlie who put Onielski in losers three to two. <sighs> We're getting close to wrapping this tournament up. We might even go to bed early on a bar fight tonight. That's rare. Yeah. That is rare. So I got to ask you a question. If you, you know, I always, I always like asking this question. You know, when you're in grand finals and you're seeing who you're going to face, who do you think Blarlad would like to face more? Onielski or V for Charlie? You know, I'm not sure, to be honest. If I'm... I don't know the... And I don't mean this in a disrespectful Let's way. Based on Blarlad's game plan, I don't know that he cares. <laughs> I think he just wants to call tires. Like, I don't... I, he's like, I don't give a shit who I'm fighting as long as the tires are rolling. Like, that's most accurate answer so you're right i didn't even think of that i forgot what show it was where there's like a multiple choice question and then it turned out that there was like a hidden answer there's like a hidden choice that was like an invisible ink <laughs> you just you just uncover that invisible ink there yep and it, it, it it's it's i just want my best friend tire out that's all that's all it is round one <laughs> All right, here we go. Neil Skipper is for Charlie Losers Finals. Both these players going ahead. They're picking... They are going in with these stage choices. They are not picking internet-safe stages. Oh. But hey. So, question is... So this is the Street Fighter stage. We're playing the Street Fighter game. Is that building the Tekken stage? That, not, right? that statue that like almost looks like Goro in the background. Yeah, but it also looks like that level in Tekken 7, like in the lore, like when a Kuma meets Heihachi. Yeah, like the Mishima Dojo or whatever. By the way, which I still think to this day, that character reveal of Akuma in Tekken is one of the most sick trailers. It's always worth a rewatch. <laughs> I do like Akuma in Tekken. I'm always down for a good Street Fighter player character in a game. Look at this, though. He's got the booms out. Using the flash kick booms. Goes for the cross-up, but gets walked under back row. Yo, Goro final character confirmed. Could be. Like, tell me that, <laughs> tell me that statue doesn't look like Goro. Tried to walk under. Oh, wake up buttons, and it's working for... Oh, oh he tried to get psychic. Good defensive read there by Onielski there. First round. Yeah, Viet likes to let those flash kicks fly. By the way, if you all need good stream layout design, Viet's your guy. V for Charlie did all of our stream layout. Great man, great designer. I miss you even now. I'm gonna say chicken whenever you grab the wipe up. Uh, Tekken 3. Mm -hmm. Got him sliding under the booms. Got the corner control. Does Onilski. I'll show you what a slide. Yo, the you, guys know what the name of, you guys know what the, the name of that normal is? Uh, Blanca, forward, down, forward, down, down, fierce? I call it the goddamn what I got crush countered again, but no, I do not know the actual. It's like Amazon River Runner or something like that. I thought the Amazon River Runner was his top. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna look. Is it the Punchy now. Punch? You're probably right. I bet Blanca's electric in the chat knows. He knows the names of all of Blanca's moves because that's his favorite character. Slide is Amazon River Run. Okay, you're talking about the slide, not the fierce. Yeah, yeah, the slide. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he tried to do it again. He tried to get psychic. He tried to read the man's. Blanca wins. Oh, the, the command hops are surprise forward and surprise back. That, that tracks. That tracks. I wish he yelled yeah, surprise time. when he did it. <laughs> surprise! Surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, so his V skill one is actually called Coward Crouch. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I, didn't is, know, I thought that was just like lingo. Is Fong's a Coward Crouch as well, or is Fong's called something else? Oh, it had, it's like some long Chinese name. All his, yeah. his moves are Chinese. 
<laughs> I love this from a uh, book. Okay. I know this because Trevor one time beat me in the tournament when I tried punishing River Run with a dive kick and the hitbox was still active. So now I know the name of that move. <laughs> okay, goes for the reset, stays in front, catches him low, and gets him with the meaty Trevor looking warm. Trying to speed run through Viet to get back to Blarla. It is rainy, but nothing would stay warm there. Okay, no more booms. Yes. Wild Hunt coming in. Which I still need to finish the Witcher 3 and the Wild Hunt. Um, the game is so long. The game is so good, though. Oh, it is so good. It is, and I'm just starting. I just beat one of the DLCs. I was like, man, this is such a big story. And then I started the other DLC. I'm like, wait, it's a whole nother. Like, yeah. It's like a whole nother map? Just started it, too. That game's beautiful. I love it. Okay, jumping with the medium kick. Pops through, gets him low. Nobody ever blocks that. That's so hard to block. It's but really ambiguous at the right range, too. Like, it's hard to tell which side yeah. he's landing on. No more booms! I got EX Wild Hunts for those. Neutral jump trying to get over. That was so smart. Blow no end. Oh, no bites! But my O'Neal scheme he earns himself a game two here. And just as a reminder, guys, it was Charlie Mono that did put it in the loser's side, so anything is possible. All right. Anything's possible. Here's what I need to know. Somebody is at Casey's house. Someone's there with Trevor. I want a picture. How many people are standing behind Trevor coaching him right now? Because I know it's anime night, <laughs> and I know you're all there. So who's there? <laughs> Thomas with the call out there. I want to picture that coaching squad. You know, I'm going to message Lord Bane. Yeah, Vampire in a Box. Um, the DLCs are the size of entire games. I was actually, like, pleasantly surprised. The, I just, I beat the shorter one, and the end of that story is kind of crazy. Do we, is that Blood and Wine, or is it the other one? Uh, no, I just started Blood and Wine. Okay. The other one. <clears throat> okay. Go to that one lady's dream world or whatever. It's actually really sad. Oh, I think all those games are a little bit sad. Okay, look at this. Viet trying to chip life away. Gets the air to air. He's almost back to a life lead with this low conversion. Is he going to kill? Yep. Yeah. He's trying to block it. What an idea. I love it. Round two. Fight. You know, this is another character I love with what they did in this game. From Street Fighter 4, everybody knew Blanca is like this, oh, very, very gimmicky character. So he has a little bit of gimmicks in this game, but to me, he's just better on the ground. Yeah, he's definitely, like, they definitely gave him a bit of a lift. They also made him look better in this game than they did in Street Fighter 4. Yo, he anti-aired with lightning? All right, now my man's out of his mind. Okay, back row. Trying to bait out the shimmy there. He has a ball. We're really fighting for his life here. 25%, 20%. Okay, EX, flash kick, wait, working out here. Oh, he just throws him. The overhead, V for Charlie, clutching it out, staying alive. Final round. No, oh, it's so funny because he had that same little target combo, like the low into the overhead 354. And my roommate at the time would just tell me, Dude, he can only go from a medium kick into that overhead. Block it every time, but I never block it. It's good to know that I'm not in the only one in that camp there. Ooh, the back throw! What an air throw! All right, according to Casey, in a direct message, he says that Trevor's playing the match by himself, and everybody else is in the other room watching Alien 3. Oh, that's like the one of the worst ones. Oh, it's the worst Alien, but it's still really fun. Is it better than Resurrection? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, we got down pierces. Tries to sweep, nothing. Trevor's close. He wants to close up the back throws again. The air throw. You cannot jump at me. 
why are air crows so sick? They are sick, especially when they're reeds. I feel, I feel like you can write a dissertation on that. Like, they're so, like, there's, it's like a subject to be determined. Absolutely. Okay, gonna flash kick. There's, oh. This is a punish. This is where the party starts. Yo, that was oh, so good. the other side? Chase him down. No. Screen B shift not working out. Oh. Oh, oh he's trying to bait up the flash kick. He's alive. For Charlie. Getting all right to breathe. He's taking deep breath. <sighs> Yeah, some of those Street Fighter 4 models were rough. Resurrection has Wino Rider and Ron Perlman and that giant hybrid thing. Ugh. Round one. Fight! Really? The most recent Predator movie is that bad? I haven't seen it. I just read the synopsis and stuff on Wikipedia. I was like, oh I guess it's not good enough for me to uh watch it. Oh, B-Mike, you are ridiculous, and I love it. Alright, watch that. There. Okay, good. <clears throat> I feel like V for Charlie's finally just... warming up, feeling better. I was just saying how B-Mike is really ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> he is ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, like, the weird part is, like, somehow, I'm gonna be at, like, a tournament or something, or in Georgia for some reason, and I'm gonna meet this woman that happens to be b Mikey P's mom, and I'm gonna be like, I heard a lot about you. None of it good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised you're living. You look at her arm and there's like a bunch of like scars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nielski is on set point here against V for Charlie. Round two. Yeah, get in the mix, get in the hits. Trying to close it out. Oh, excuse me. That's, I'm trying not to yawn, but it is getting late for this you know, old man. Uh, I know. I, I just heard the, the popcorns and stuff on Joe's stream go on. Yep. Okay, he's interrupting the again these air throws. If anything, V for Charlie's getting the air throws off. Now, if I'm correct, Guile actually does better with the front air throw, like you know, not that one, because he mm. actually gets Oki on that one. Consistent Oki. Yo, that walk forward and anti air was actually smart. But now here comes the run back. Will O'Neillski be able to get to Schmix? Okay, he V shifts out. Doesn't he want to deal with the mix up? I like that choice. Just throw booms. He double dashed. Oh, they still got hit with the V shift. Oh, and that was a counter hit too, so extended damage. Yeah, he was ready. He was oh. ready. <clears throat> yeah, I think even if he blocked that, he wouldn't have been able to have enough damage to kill on the combo there. A good read on Charlie's side there, going for the flash kill. It's like that one too. And that nerf, that, 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 that's a special, uh, normal that got nerfed too. Unique attack, excuse me. <laughs> Unique New York. Okay, look at these throw loops, fake loops, we got them. He's gonna do it again, nope, stand fierce. We got the emotes, we can rebuild it. The overhead coming, slide activation, coming hot. Get some low, is he gonna, no! Super, CA! I'm gonna take it! Okay. Here we go. What, what did you guys? Wide bumper pinball, let's go. Blanco wins. <clears throat> Here we go. Congratulations, O'Neal. Your award is facing Larla. 